let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We gather today to remember the step Jesus took on Good Friday, the day he died for us. We will reflect and pray on Jesus sacrificing and dying on the cross. We will take time to ask ourselves how we are called by the way of the cross to be more Christ-like in our world today. First station, Jesus is condemned to die. Jesus is told that he will be put to death, although he has done nothing wrong. The people wanted Jesus to be punished, and even though the governor knew he was innocent. He gave in to the crowd. Pilate orders Jesus to be crucified. We've stopped with Jesus at this first station. Now let us remember and pray. How do you feel when someone says, you did it? and you know you didn't. Are we ever quiet when someone else is being blamed for something they didn't do? I wonder what Jesus was thinking when they all blamed him. Dear Jesus, help us recognize your truth in our lives. May we never turn from you and your love. Help us to do what you ask of us. Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. The soldiers brought the cross to Jesus and put it on his shoulders. He knew he was not guilty of any crime, but he accepted the heavy cross and carried it to show us how much he loves us. Sometimes things do not go as you want them to go, but you can't run away and take the easy way out. To really get anything out of life, you have to work at it every day. What do we do when someone gives us a job that we don't want to do? Do we have better things to do? What did Jesus do? Did he complain, or did he just carry a cross for all of us? Jesus accepted all of our sins and took up the cross. Dear Jesus, help us carry our small crosses. May we not become discouraged, but remember that you are with us. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The third station. Jesus falls the first time. Jesus, weakened by scourging, falls under the weight of the cross. He does not give up, but rises to meet his destiny. He came into the world to lead us back to God, and he will finish what he set out to do. Remember the last time you received a bad mark on a test? Even though you you tried very hard, you still got a poor mark. When you were disappointed, you may have thought of just giving up. Jesus didn't give up. Even though it hurt when he fell to the ground, he got up and went on. Dear Jesus, Help us to be like you. Help us to try again and again, even when it's not easy. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. Jesus, carrying his cross sees his mother. Her heart breaks with sadness that her son must suffer so. This fourth station shows Mary's great love for Jesus. What do we think of Mary's love for us? When is the last time you did something for your own mom? Have you ever thought of how much she has done for you? She has always been by your side when you needed her, and you have always been in her heart. Jesus didn't forget his mother Mary. When Jesus needed her, even though her sadness was great, Mary was there. Lord Jesus, help us to be grateful for those who love us. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. 
As Jesus carried the cross up the hill, the soldiers saw that he was very tired and weak. They did not want him to die on the road, so they pulled Simon out of the crowd and told him to help. To help a man on his way to be executed was difficult, but Simon did what was needed. Have you helped anyone lately? When you are playing games and someone falls down, you can help them up. Or perhaps when you go to the store with your mother, you could show your love for her by carrying her packages. Can you refuse to do little things when you think of how Simon helped to carry the cross? Dear Jesus, you suffered so much out of love. Strengthen us to help those who suffer greatly in our world. May we see you are facing them. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The Sixth Station Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. A woman named Veronica came up to Jesus and wiped his face out of compassion. She steps out from the crowd, not caring what people think. Veronica thought for a moment and then acted out her prayer. Let us think and pray. Is Jesus' face imprinted on our lives? Do we see his face anywhere? On the faces of on people's faces, perhaps? Are we the face of Christ? Dear Jesus, help us not to depend upon what other people think of us. Never let that stop us from what we have to do. Help us put you first in our lives. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. Jesus is weak and falls again, bruised and shaken. He manages to stand up and continue his journey to the cross. Have we ever tried to do something and failed? Or have you ever been the only person to think something was right? Being left alone to fight for your point of view is difficult. Perhaps you were laughed at and made fun of by many people. But like Jesus, you stood up for what was right. Here. Jesus falls a second time, but got up again for us. Dear Jesus, give me the strength to please you, even when my friends refuse to do what is right. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom. Eighth station. Jesus meets the women and children. Friends of Jesus were in the crowd along the way to the cross. They were sad to see what was being done to him. Jesus did not want them to feel sorry for him, so he told them to pray for themselves and their children who would have to suffer. He cared about people despite his own pain. Jesus thought about us and not about himself. Do we see other people in pain and help them? Have you ever tried to comfort a sister or a brother after you are both hurt or do not get something? Even though you may have been hurt, you try to make your brother or sister feel better. This is what Jesus did. Even though he was hurt and sad, he had enough strength and feeling to stop and speak kindly to the women and children. Dear Jesus, Help me pay attention to the needs of others. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. Jesus, tired and in pain, falls yet another time. He was so tired he could not get up again. He was ver very embarrassed as the people laughed at him to get up again. No one is perfect. It is human to make mistakes. But we must learn to get up and do better from our faults. Even Jesus Christ, King of Kings, fell, but he always got up again in one time. Dear Jesus, 
Even when I make mistakes, give me the strength to try again and again. Help us to center our lives on you as we journey in faith to the Father. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped off his clothing. The Roman soldiers took Jesus' clothing. They treated him without respect and tried to take away his dignity. Has a crowd of people ever made fun of you? Maybe they did not even know they were hurting you by making you feel bad in front of everybody. This is what happened to Jesus, yet he did not complain. Dear Jesus, help me not to be afraid of what others think or say about me. Make us strong when others are weak. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Eleventh Station, Jesus is crucified. Jesus is nailed to the cross and lifted up between heaven and earth. Out of love, he suffers on our behalf for our sins and our failings. Do we think we can forgive someone who hurts us? Do we pray to Jesus to help us be good to others? Dear Jesus, help us to remember your great love for us. You accept what was to come. Be with us always. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. As he hung on the cross, Jesus forgave the soldiers and prayed for his mother and friends. He told them he did everything his father wanted him to do for the world. He bowed his head and died. He gave us everything he had, even his life. Please bow or kneel. Please sit. Dear Jesus, you gave up, gave up your life for us. May we live our lives for you. Help us follow your way in all things. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. 13th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. After Jesus died, his friend Joseph took the body from the cross. Joseph was very sad as he wiped away the blood and cleaned the cuts that covered the body of Jesus. He then prepared the body for burial. It is a very kind and loving thing to care for someone else. When we care for a friend, it is easy, but we must learn to give as much care to one who doesn't like us as we would give to a friend. Then we are showing our real love for them. Dear Jesus, teach us to care for everyone. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Fourteenth Station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. The body of Jesus is wrapped in a linen cloth and placed in a new tomb. A large rock has moved over the entrance to seal it. When is the last time you shared with someone? Sharing what you don't want or sharing unwillingly is not friendly or right, but when you willingly share something dear to you, you are rewarded by having more left for yourself. Joseph shared something special with Jesus. Because he loved him so much, he gave Jesus his own tomb. Lord Jesus, help me learn how to share with other boys and girls. Jesus, remember me 
when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Dear God, out of love for us, you sent your only Son, Jesus. Help us to say yes to your call in our lives. We acknowledge our failing and weaknesses and ask your help to live lives pleasing to you. May we follow the example of Jesus Christ in all we do. Help us remember your great love for, for us, not only today, but always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.